Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you a crime and mystery thriller from 2018, titled, Lie. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a couple giving a bath to a baby named Kayla. The film then moves on to show shots, of what looks like a compilation of different shots from Kayla's childhood. There is a short video of Kayla getting her ear pierced, then there is another one where the family is enjoying a rainstorm. The movie then moves to show a now grown-up Kayla, looking through a window. It turns out, Kayla is going to a ballet retreat, and her mother and her boyfriend are driving her to her father's home. The boyfriend invites Kayla's mother, to come with him to Vegas, but she says that she has a trial. From the look of it, Kayla doesn't exactly like her mother's boyfriend. They drop the boyfriend off at the airport, and then both of them go to Kayla's father. There is an awkward moment between them, when they meet her dad's girlfriend. Kayla and her father then start going towards the dance retreat, and during the drive there, Kayla sees her friend Britt standing on the side of the road, and she asks her father to stop. It turns out, Britt is going to the same dance retreat in Gretchen, and Kayla invites her to join them on the trip. Mid-drive, Britt has to go to the bathroom, and she asks to stop the car. There is no rest stop in sight, so the two go into the forest next to the road. Her dad stands next to the car and waits, but it takes them a while, so he too goes into the forest to search for them. While he is searching for the girls, he hears a scream, and rushes towards the sound. He comes upon Kayla, sitting on the side of a bridge overlooking a lake, Kayla is crying, and her father asks her if she is crazy. When he asks her about her friend, she says that Brittany fell into the water. He jumps into the water to look for her, and when she is unable to find her, he shouts to call 911. As the pair rush to the car, Kayla tells him, that she was the one who pushed Brittany off the bridge, as she was a bitch. Kayla's father panics, and he pulls her down when a truck crosses them. They then head back to the city, and Kayla's father goes to her mother's office. Seeing her ex there, Kayla's mother is annoyed, and tells her father that she is a spoiled brat, as he lets her get away with everything, and that she will take Kayla to the retreat herself. Jay tries to tell Rebecca about what had happened, but she doesn't listen, and instead, continues walking towards the car. They see that Kayla isn't in the car, and instead sitting on a swing. Jay rushes over to her, and tells her that she should be in the car. Kayla says that she wants to go home, and suddenly vomits. Jay and Rebecca then take Kayla home, and while she rests, Jay tries to tell her about what had happened, but he doesn't get the chance. As she lies there, she asks her father, whether he thinks she is beautiful or not. Her father just smiles, but doesn't say anything. Kayla then goes to take a bath, and while she is in there, Jay tries to talk to her, but Rebecca stops him, and closes the bathroom door. She then asks Kayla about what happened, and Kayla tells her everything. When Rebecca comes out of the bathroom, she looks thunderstruck and then goes to talk to Jay. Jay says that they can't go to the police, but Rebecca says that she is going to look for Brittany herself. However, Jay tells her that she can't, as it would create an even bigger problem. Rebecca then says, that it would be second degree murder, if the cops found out that Kayla had pushed her friend, so in the end, they decide not to go to the police. In the morning, Jay comes over to the house, and Kayla offers to make him breakfast. After breakfast, Rebecca and Jay go outside to talk. Rebecca is worried about why Kayla is acting too normal, to which Jay replies that she is in shock, and that it's normal. She then asks Jay why Brittany and Kayla were arguing, she believes that it was because of Jay. Kayla sees the argument and drops a glass, and hearing the sound, both parents run into the house, and see that Kayla is running out of the house. Jay rushes after her and grabs her, while she screams. They take her back into the house and calm her down. Brittany's father, Sam, shows up at their residence later, and inquires about his daughter's whereabouts. He asks whether Kayla knows about where Brittany is, and that he is worried about her, as the two had a fight earlier, and that he had grabbed her daughter, which might have hurt her. Rebecca says that Kayla is at the doctor's with her father, and when she comes back, she will call Sam. Some hours later, Sam calls Rebecca again, but she doesn't pick up the call, and asks Kayla to call Sam. But Kayla ignores the request, and at that moment, the doorbell rings. Both think that it is Sam, and rush to the basement. Suddenly the lock clicks, and it turns out that it was just Jay. Rebecca tells Jay all about Sam, and he suggests that they should go away to find a little peace. They pack their belongings, and are about to walk towards the car, when they see that Sam is back. He learns, that Rebecca had lied, and that Kayla was at home. He tries to go up to talk to Kayla, but is stopped by Jay. They get into a violent struggle, and Sam threatens to report them to the cops, after Rebecca shouts at him to leave, 
Jay asks Rebecca to contact her friends and the police, and tell her about Sam's abusive tendencies, because if they didn't, Kayla would get into trouble. Rebecca is initially hesitant, as she doesn't want to frame an innocent man, but in fear of her daughter's safety, she goes ahead, and meets her former co-worker Detective Kenji, alleging that Sam has abused his daughter. Kenji speaks with Rebecca and Kayla, who reveal that Sam was enraged, and hit Brittany. Later, Jay asks Kayla if Sam actually hit Brittany or not, Kayla says that he did. Meanwhile, the cops go and question Sam, who says that he never hit his daughter, and that he himself is looking for Brittany. So, the cops go to Rebecca instead, and tell her that they talked to Sam, and they think that there is more to the story than meets the eye. Annoyed, Rebecca tells them that she doesn't like what they are implying, and that she has to do her job. Across town, Jay had taken Kayla to his apartment, but she goes out, and Sam spots her. He tries to grab her, but she flees and seeks refuge in her home. Sam chases her down, pounding on her door and yelling her name. Rebecca goes back home, and tells Jay, that the cops know something isn't right, while Jay shows her Brittany's phone. During their argument, Kayla starts panicking, and they try to calm her down. Meanwhile, the cops go to the bridge that Kayla pushed Brittany off, and they then go to Rebecca's home, saying that they know Kayla killed Brittany. Rebecca gets angry at the acquisition, and tells them to get out of the house. To protect their daughter, Jay and Rebecca attempt to bury Brittany's phone at Sam's residence, but are seen by Sam. After a heated argument with him, Sam says that he knew Kayla killed Brittany. As they are about to go away, Sam gets in the way of their vehicle, and Rebecca intentionally runs over him with her car. He requests them to call the ambulance, but they let him succumb to his injuries. The following morning, a very much alive and healthy Brittany shows up at their residence, much to Jay and Rebecca's surprise. She confesses, that her departure was all part of a well-thought-out scheme, to spend time with her partner, which she devised herself. Brittany notices Jay and Rebecca wiping blood off their car, and behaving strangely. She persists in meeting Kayla despite her discomfort. After that, Kayla sobs as she explains, that she went through with Brittany's plan to push her off the bridge, in order for the phony tragedy to reunite her split parents. As the family hugs, and Kayla pleads with her parents not to abandon her, the sound of approaching police sirens can be heard. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.